Hi guys, I'm here again to expose another tiger fanatic, I really didn't want this to be the focus of this channel, but as long as there's this kind of thing around here, I will try to resolve it. Well, this channel today is Brazilian, but that doesn't mean anything, I'm just warning you because the vast majority of you won't understand him speaking in Portuguese, but I'll subtitle what he says, my comments on what he says will be in speech only. Let's start, the first video is him talking about animals that beat the lion, he doesn't mention the tiger, but what I want to highlight is just that part. Animais que vencem um leão. Hipopótamo vence, com certeza. See he doesn't say anything, other than that the hippo wins, and as much as this is true, he could at least explain why. See him talking about videos of animals that beat the tiger, the first is his reaction, the second is the video himself and the other is another react. Hipopótamo, sim, poderia vencer, derrotar um tigre siberiano, mas lembrando que o fator água seria decisivo nesse duelo. Um tigre não ficaria imóvel na linha de frente, na linha de tiro de um hipopótamo em terra, esperando a morte de jeito nenhum, pois é muito mais ágil e veloz. Why did he need to explain? The result is obvious, Hippo beats the tiger easily. And notice, he said, could beat a Siberian tiger. Why could? Why does he think a tiger can beat a hippo? The hippopotamus is too big a prey for any solitary predator. It doesn't matter if it is a Siberian tiger or not, it will not beat the hippopotamus. Do you see what I'm saying? And look, it's just the beginning. Look at the next one. Os carnívoros terrestres, o tigre pode escapar das investidas do hipopótamo, cansá-lo, tem mais energia também. É um duelo, eu não vou dizer equilibrado, também é exagero, porque o hipopótamo é um tanque. Hipopótamo. Seria uma luta até que equilibrada, Vence. dependendo do tamanho de cada um. Mas se Isso, for um mas seria equilibrado um sim, adulto... correto. Beyond your clear contradiction to yourself, you state false information. In addition, the claws of the tiger and the lion are equal in size, but those of lions are generally thicker and sharper. You've probably seen this image, haven't you? Well, I'm sorry to inform you that this image misled you if you trusted it. I'm not saying he used it as a basis, but it probably did. Note one thing, the cheetah's claw, besides being bigger than the leopard's, is recreated wrong. These are the real claws of a cheetah. There are no differences between the front and back ones. They are all like dog claws. Also, in what universe is a cougar's claw going to be bigger than a leopard's? Leopards are much larger. Anyway, continuing the topic of hippo. It's not a balanced duel. A tiger would never beat a hippopotamus, only if he actually took it out of the water and left it in the sun for a long time. But that would never happen. A Bengal tiger doesn't hunt Javan rhinos, which are smaller than hippos, why would a tiger be able to defeat a hippopotamus that is larger and more aggressive? We have videos of lions trying hunt a hippopotamus alone, and he ignores it, but when he wants to justify that a tiger could, among many quotes, beat a hippopotamus. Although, everything you mentioned that a tiger could do, a lion could do too. Next video. Já analisamos aqui a Alcateia vs Clã. A Alcateia é superior, mais forte, mais inteligente, conta com dimorfismo, isto é, vantagem devido às proporções dos lobos machos sobre as hienas machos. Well, it seems like you didn't analyze it as well as you said, because everyone knows that hyenas are bigger and stronger than wolves, and some studies suggest that they are even more intelligent. Besides, even the although male hyenas are smaller than females, they are still larger and stronger than male wolves. In addition, lone wolves are occasionally killed by cougars, solitary hyenas are rarely killed by leopards, this is due both to their superior size to the leopard and their defense. In addition, hyenas have a stronger bite force than wolves. Also, why didn't you talk about the advantage of female hyenas over female wolves? Seriously, you seem to be favoring and not analyzing. Então, da mesma forma que o tigre pode matar hienas com uma patada, os leões podem destruir lobos com uma mordida. First of all, we have several lion feet with a simple blow of the paw, so it doesn't make sense for him to want to say that the lion will only destroy wolves with a bite. Besides, we don't have any feet from a blow of a tiger's paw. Moreover, lions often kill hyenas, while tigers at most kill tolls, very rarely. And that is not a great feat, as holes are almost the same size as a jackal. Esses felinos estão acostumados a lutar contra mais de um oponente. Por isso, o exército vai pesar mais a favor do tigre, porque os lobos lutando juntos são quase imbatíveis. Eles possuem mais energia e estratégia que as hienas. First of all, where did you get that wolves fighting together are almost unbeatable? Even a bear can drive them away and keep their prey, just like lions do with hyenas. And the hyenas are more numerous than wolves. 
This shows that lions are not intimidated by several animals facing him. In addition, the advantage would clearly be the lions, as they are bigger and stronger and have better teamwork, the hyenas would kill all the wolves, because in the African savanna, when hyenas are in large numbers they fight with several wild dogs, and if we were to compare, they are like lionesses attacking hyenas, without much morality but with a lot of strength. A hyena is a tank of war, she doesn't die with one wound. That's why this battle would take hours, and not all die. The majority would run, without fanfic, but when the Shere Khan confronts Alcatea, he doesn't put the fire on the ground, do you know why? Because the tigers are not used to being chased by a large number of lions. The tigers are not used to being chased by a large number of lions. The tigers are not used to being chased by a large number of lions. The tigers are not used to being chased by a large number of lions. The tigers are not used to being chased by a large number of lions. The tigers are not used to being chased by a large number of lions. The tigers are not used to being chased by a large number Besides using a scene from the movie The Jungle Book, something that doesn't make any sense for a video like this, it must be because we don't have many videos of tigers fighting canines, although we have one. It still contradicts what he said before, the tigers were accustomed to multiple opponents, why aren't they now? It seems we have a bit of fanaticism here, although in this video that I'm showing here, the tiger is attacking some holes, it's like I said, this is very rare, most of the time the tigers ignore them, and as I said before, holes have basically the size of jackals. Besides, tigers don't always fight, everything he said there, in addition to showing a lot of fanaticism, he said things that lions do, not tigers. But look what he says next. O leão tem mais preservação porque quando os jovens são mortos ocasionalmente, principalmente por hienas, então ele se defende mais do que ataca, para ganhar tempo, até que chegue o grupo. Por isso o tigre machucaria mais hienas do que o leão aos lobos. In addition to him using an example video that exposed his own lie about lions, hyenas do not kill young lions. They only disturb them and steal their prey. In addition, the behavior he described, it's only four lionesses. The males don't care if they will die fighting alone, even if they are more hyenas than he can count. Furthermore, the video I'm using as an example clearly shows what I'm saying. He doesn't call the pack once. Moreover, even though he attacked some hyenas for a short time, it was the enough to hurt them. A tiger would never be able to do this, it would retreat as soon as it felt a few bites. The lion, in addition to not defending itself much, does not care about attacks from hyenas. And in the end, he still shows dominance by lifting the dead hyena. The lion would defeat the wolves without effort. He's so much more than wolves can handle. Mas o que vai definir esse duelo é o trabalho em equipe. Quando o leão e o tigre se encontrarem para começar a lutar, o volume da alcateia vai desestabilizar o leão. Ninguém confia em hienas. É mais fácil elas abandonarem o leão. Então mesmo com uma quantidade justa, 30 indivíduos para cada lado, o tigre e os lobos venceriam essa batalha, com danos e muitos lobos mortos. Really? I think that at this point in the video his fanaticism has already been exposed. But the video is not over yet. Where did you get that hyenas would have so much cowardice to escape wolves that would be in the same number as them? The only reason why hyenas sometimes run away from wild dogs is because they are outnumbered. But in equal quantities the hyenas don't care and attack without mercy until they go away or die. Furthermore, hyenas run away from a male lion because they recognize his superiority and strength. They even try to face him a little, but they prefer not to take the risk as they could lose many clan members with this. Besides, lions don't care how many there are, they keep attacking until they run away or die. Obviously the lions and hyenas would win, but I want to make one thing clear, your channel is not bad at all, you have some videos that really have true information and a good analysis, this one for example. Força. No reino animal, o peso é convertido em força, diferente dos seres humanos que têm o um controle sobre cada músculo do corpo individualmente. O bisão pode chegar a 1.200 quilos. O búfalo africano está na marca de 900. A musculatura é igualmente espalhada pelo corpo. Eu daria vitória para o bisão em força bruta. Velocidade, bisão. Durabilidade. Os animais da savana têm mais durabilidade. Búfalo, tá certo. E que? Inteligência. Empático. Batalha de que? Empate novamente. Força de mordida. Empate. Agressividade. Búfalo africano, sem sombra de dúvida. Stronger, oponente. Oponente mais forte. Bisão. Vitória. No nosso resultado, deu 3 a 2. Considerando os empates, o Bisão tem mais de 60% de chance de vencer. Vitória para o Bisão. Although I disagree with the result he decided on, he actually analyzed it well, didn't he? However, not everything is perfect when it comes to lions and tigers. Fanaticism speaks louder. Tigre, 
analisemos uma luta de leões. O primeiro impacto é sempre de pé. O leão tem muita força no dorso. A técnica do leão é abafar o oponente com o peso e já finalizar. A mordida do leão é o primeiro recurso. Agora analisemos uma luta de tigres. Gostam de lutar de pé. Usa muito as garras, como um gato doméstico. Repare os pés dele como se move, além de um leque de movimento. O tigre é superior. Por que os tigres vencem leões? A maioria dos encontros fatais, contados ou registrados, o tigre levou a melhor. O tigre tem mais armas que o leão, os maiores caninos entre os carnívoros terrestres, e tem mais força de mordida que o leão. First of all, besides we only have reliable and truthful reports of lions killing tigers, and no reliable and truthful reports of tigers killing lions. Several studies based on the animal's skulls the strength was recognized as similar, 1,000 psi, although generally the tiger has 950 psi to 1,000 psi, and the lion has 1,000 psi to 1,050 psi, but better and more reliable studies, unlike the computer tests they did, suggest that the lion has a slightly stronger bite, considering that the skull is slightly larger and more robust than that of the tiger. Furthermore, with a larger skull, it has more spaces for muscles in the jaw, which would generate more force. These studies suggest that the lion can bite at 1,100 psi, although other experts argue be a little stronger. Because in addition to the skull being larger and stronger, the canines are actually the largest and hardest. In addition, several lion bite feats are more recognized than that of tigers. And think about it, why would compare a smilodon with a lion, is it supposedly stronger? One day I'll comment more on this. Olha o que um tigre é obrigado a fazer em seu habitat. A agressividade aliada ao instinto de sobrevivência deixa o tigre mais qualificado para matar. Todas as lutas que vemos entre tigres e leões, o leão ataca primeiro, mas também é o que se fere primeiro, pois não consegue se defender das patas dianteiras do tigre. Num confronto entre dois adultos selvagens e saudáveis, o tigre é superior, porque é um especialista nesse tipo de conflito corpo a corpo. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into to it. To begin with, the lion is much more aggressive than the tiger. It needs to be like this because its competition is not just for food, but for its pride too. That's why they are built to fight. So it doesn't make sense for him to say that the tiger is a better fighter than the lion just because he thinks the tiger is more aggressive. Something that the tiger is not. Furthermore, the lion doesn't defend itself with its front paws because it doesn't need to. Its mane absorbs most of the impact, which is why in this video the tiger got the worst of it, even though the lion has a bad paw and receiving more blows. O maior leão visto alcançou 375 quilos com 3 metros. Já o maior tigre registrado alcançou 423 quilos com 3 metros e 30. Isso significa que a capacidade de ganho do tigre é superior e faz dele o gato mais forte da natureza. Lions. Supreme hunters. The strongest cat. To the strongest. We're concentrated in their stronger front limbs. Muscle makes up 59% of a lion's entire body weight. The highest percentage of any mammal. Their bone-crushing bite exerts a pressure of 1,000 pounds per square inch. Well, since I proved you wrong about the tiger being the strongest cat, let's talk about the lion and tiger mentioned in the video, Simba, which was an atlas lion that actually weighed 325 kilograms, but his size was never really confirmed, all we know about him in this aspect is that he was 44 inches tall. Already Japa, the tiger, who actually had this size and weight, was a beast, as you can see in the image, the tiger's only earning capacity is to be a beast. Obese tigers are more common than you might think, so it doesn't matter if the tiger is heavier than the lion, he won't win if he's obese, not even if he's normal, since tigers are thick in the front and thin in the back, while lions are muscular throughout their bodies. 
Well, your fanaticism is already very apparent and has already been exposed, even more so when you say that. Tigre é superior. Se você ouvir na sua escola alguém ensinando que o leão vence um tigre, você pode dizer que os tigres sempre foram superiores. Well, when we have reliable records of young tigers hunting buffalo, or of tigers hunting large animals, we can try to debate. However, his fanaticism is very visible. Anyone who really knows about an animal will not say that it will always do such a thing. For example, Clyde Beatty said that a lion would beat a tiger nine times out of ten. Fanatical biologists say that the tiger will always win, which is an exaggeration. There's no way everything can be the same result every time. If you're watching this video and want to prove that you're not a fanboy, respond to this video in a formal and informative way, in a way that a real analyst would say, and if you have anything that proves me wrong in a truthful way, show me, but don't take anything and say it's true just because you want it to be, if you're right, I won't attack you with hate or anything like that, I'll respect it, and if you're wrong I'll point out the mistakes, like a constructive criticism, although, Show that the information is true and has reliable foundations that prove your point. Since you're not a fanboy, you'll be able to prove it with facts, right? In the end, you know the difference between a fan and a fanboy. Aqui eu sou fã, não sou fanboy. Essa é a diferença. O fã consegue conversar e debater sobre os pontos fracos de um personagem ou indivíduo sem ficar de mimimi. Não, 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 não.